All right, so there's this 75 kilogram guy. He jumps off this building and he goes down like this and he hits this stack of mattresses. And as a result of hitting the mattresses, the mattresses compress uh, one meter. So his stopping distance, the mattresses, just so you can see it, the mattresses go like this. They go and they kind of scrunch down like that. And then what's the distance What's the distance there that he stopped with? One meter, okay? The stopping distance is one meter. The question that we're asked to find is what is the force of the mattress on the guy? The force of the mattress on the guy equals what? So if you look at the guy as, as the mattress is stopping him, so let's say he lands on his back, right? So here he is. He lands on his back. What are the forces on the guy as the mattress brings him to rest? Well, mg is down, gravity is down, and then the force of the mattress is up, which is like a normal force. Basically, the force of the mattress, is the mattress a surface? Yeah, so let's just call the force of the mattress, let's call it a normal force. So really, what the question is asking for is, What's the normal force on the guy when the, as, the, as he's being brought to rest? All right, now how are we going to go about doing this? Honestly, I think it's easier to do this um, just by using forces alone. You guys remember doing forces? Step one, free body diagram, which is this, right? Step two, sum the forces. Step three, do the algebra. In fact, we so let's solve it that way first because I think it's quicker. Let's just do a solution with just purely forces. All right, so we're going to say that down is minus and up is plus. Okay, so if you sum the forces for the guy, if you sum the forces on the guy, what do we have? We got the force of the mattresses up, so which is the normal force. Should I just call it force of mattress? Should we say FM? Let's just do that. Force of the mattress. Force of mattress. Uh, minus mg. Sum of the forces always equals what? Ma. Now look, I want to point something out here. I want to point something out. What is net force equal to? Ma. Ma. Net force equals ma. So look, this is net force. And that is net force. Net force equals ma. So the, the net force is equal to ma, but in this situation, it's equal to the force of the mattress minus mg. Does that make sense? Okay, so what will the force of the mattress be? Okay, let me shrink this up. If you do the algebra, shrink that down. Let's stick that up there. So what will be the force of the mattress. The force of the mattress is going to equal ma plus mg. Just when you do the algebra. And you can factor out the m. So that's going to be m a plus g. So we know everything except what? Acceleration. Acceleration. Now, what do we mean by acceleration? Do we mean his acceleration as he's falling towards the mattress? No. Uh uh. We mean his acceleration. Well, he's touching the mattress. So how do we find his acceleration Well, he's in contact with the mattress? We got to do kinematics. So here's the steps. The first thing we got to do is we have to find out what is his velocity right before he hits the mattress. Right before he hits the mattress, how fast is he moving? Now, there's different ways you could do that. You could do that with a kinematic. Right? Like what kinematic could you use to find his velocity right before he hits? You could go um, VF squared equals V initial squared plus 2AX. Or what's another way you could have done it? You could have used conservation of mechanical. mechanical energy. What type of energy does he start with up here? Potential. What type of energy does he end with? right before he hits the mattress. Kinetic, Kinetic and those, are, those will be equal, right? <coughs> so you could say potential initial 
equals kinetic final. Both of, both of these will give you the same answer. So which one should we use? Should we do both? Let me show you. Both. So V initial is what? Before he jumps, what's V initial? Zero. Zero. So look what, look what V final comes out to be. Square root 2AX. Okay. Potential is what? MGH. Kinetic is what? One half mv squared. The m's cancel. Solve this for v. Look what you get. V comes out to be square root 2gh. Notice that those two equations are the same thing. Isn't physics awesome? It's awesome. Okay, so you plug in. Uh, the acceleration here is what? What's accelerating him as he falls? Negative 9.8. Negative 9.8, which is gravity. So when you do the calculation, his velocity right before he hits the mattress is 22.14 meters per second. That's going to be our initial velocity. Initial meaning right when he hits the mattress. Okay. So then what happens? So then he, he comes into the mattress. So you know what? Should I revert this? You guys have this copied? Here, let me. I need to make some room. Yo. Oh, I just I plugged in to square root 2gh. So, so in this equation here, the 2 and then g is 9.8 and then h is 25. h is how far he falls for. All right, so he hits the mattress. What does the mattress do to him? Brings him, so the mattress goes like this. It goes like that. It smushes how far? One meter. That distance right there is one meter. And then what's his final velocity when the mattress is done? Zero. Zero. Okay. Can we find acceleration from this data? We have his initial velocity. Right when he hits the mattress, he's going 22 meter per second. When the mattress is done with him, what's his velocity? Zero. Zero. And then what's the stopping distance? One. One. So you go like this. To find his acceleration, because we're, we're trying to find this acceleration over here, right? We need that acceleration. What's his acceleration? Well, he's in contact with the mattress. Okay, to find that acceleration, we go VF squared equals V initial squared plus 2AX. What's V final? Zero. So doing the algebra gives negative V initial squared over 2X. So then we can plug into that. Hold on. One. So plugging into that. So A is going to be negative. So V initial is 20. Actually, it's negative. Okay, hold on. This is negative 22.14 because he's going down. But it's squared, so that doesn't matter. And then the 1 is actually is negative. Why is the 1 negative? Because it goes down. So the negatives cancel. So his acceleration comes out as, oh shoot, I didn't calculate this, 22.14 squared divided by 2. So his acceleration, while in contact with the mattress, is 245.09. Okay, so now we plug that in there. Gravity is 9.8. His mass is 75. This is kind of a hard problem, huh? The quiz won't be this hard. I'll have easier ones on the quiz. Okay, so when you plug into this, the force of the mattress comes out to be 19,100. And I, ra I rounded that. The force of the mattress is 19,100 newtons. So basically, long story short, the way you could approach this is by summing forces uh, do free body diagrams, some forces. You're looking for the force of the mattress. Some of the forces equals MA. Now, how could you have done this chapter or momentum style? Because we're, currently we're talking about momentum. How could you have solved this exact same problem using momentum? Well, you could have gone like this. Change of momentum equals net force multiplied by time. Okay, when the guy hits the mattress, look at right before he hits the mattress, 
does this guy have some initial momentum? Yeah, he's moving, right? So that's going to be M, V initial. Okay, then he slams into the mattress. He slams into the mattress. The mattress goes like this. It goes and stops him, right? So then he's down here. Does he have a final momentum? It's zero, right? The final momentum is zero. The mattress stops him. So could we figure out what the change of momentum is? Yeah, okay. We can figure out what that is. Um, so rearrange this equation. Net force is going to be equal to change of momentum over time. Now look, what, what's this time right here? Is that the time for him to fall? Or is it the time it takes for the mattress to stop him? It's, it's the time it takes for the mattress to stop him, which you could find. Um, you can do it with a kinematic. The time it takes for the mattress to stop him when you calculate it is 0 0.09035 seconds. That's the time for him to stop. So change of momentum. That's going to be mv final minus mv initial over time. What's his momentum final? Zero. So net force is going to be negative mv initial over delta t. So negative 75, right? His mass is 75. What's his initial velocity when he hits the mattress? Negative 22. Why is it negative 22? He's going down, so the negatives cancel. And then the time is 0 0.09035 seconds. This gives a net force of 18,376. Now, why are we not done? Yo. Oh, I'll show you how I got T. Uh, I got T with this. I went X equals 1 half V final plus V initial times T. And remember, we're focusing as the guy hits the mattress. V final is 0. V initial right here is the 22.1. X is 1. So you have enough info you can solve for T. It's, so the time here, it's the time it takes for the mattress to stop him. Now look, I promise I'm almost done. This is a long problem. Let me shrink this down. What we just solved for, was it the force of the mattress? Did I just solve for force of the mattress or net force? The net force. Look at what is net force equal to? So here's the dude. When the dude, when the guy's being stopped by the mattress, you have mg down, force of the mattress up. So the net force is equal is going to equal force of mattress minus mg. So therefore, the force of the mattress is going to equal the net force plus mg. So the force of the mattress is going to be the 18,376 plus mg. And mg is going to be somewhere around 750, right? 75 times 10. So then that gives us force of mattress equal to 19,100, which is the answer.